What is it that you like about it? I think uh, I like my job now because I have a power uh, to consolidate my my own position uh, to uh, perform my uh, to satisfy my political ambition. But uh, uh, I would like to take uh, responsibility and to do something good for the country and the people. And what I uh, I would like. Uh, uh, to be the most is the most president of the country in the peace time, but the president of country in the most difficult time of the nation. A, a, a common criticism that I've heard of you is that uh, you're not really interested in politics, but you, you do understand and have a liking for power. Is, is that a fair criticism? It, it's not true. You come from the countryside yourself, from a small family, in a small place. Why do you think the Viet Cong, the communists, have, have had success among the people in the countryside? I think that the, uh, the, the, the Vietnamese people, uh, both in North Vietnam and South Vietnam before and, uh, 1945, has been lured by the, the communists. They have not said that they are communists. They, they said that they are the nationalists who would like to urge the people to fight against the, the, the colonialism and to liberate the uh, Vietnam from the French domination. So everyone, after more than 18 years of uh, 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 French uh, domination, would like to be independent. So the, the word independence is a very uh, uh, attractive, it is a very uh, exciting word uh, for any uh, Vietnamese. So everyone who was behind the, the Viet Cong for the first uh, uh, period of uh, the struggle and then when they realize that there is not uh, really a struggle for independence, but the struggle for independence first and for the communist domination uh, after, uh, so the, the, the people, uh, when they uh, realize that it's uh, too late. Well, under what conditions then do you see communists participating in the government of South Vietnam? I think the first, like, to permit the South Vietnamese people to perform his right of self-determination through free and democratic election. I think that the presence of foreign troops and the, especially the, uh, the invasion of North Vietnam troops uh, must be solved. We, the people of South Vietnam cannot perform his right of self-determination as long as uh, we have uh, any foreign troops in South Vietnam. And, uh, above all, the, the, the troops of North Vietnam who have invaded the country. Now, if the North Vietnamese army does not withdraw from the south, and there are some 20 divisions there at, at the moment in the country, uh, what will you do? I think <laughs> that they, if they do not withdraw, I think that they continue to nourish uh, the dream of invasion of South Vietnam and they are planning a new war. Uh, even now, six, uh, almost 60 days after the ceasefire, they continue to infiltrate. They continue to uh, send out to South Vietnam more tanks, more artillery guns, and more troops. That's uh, the, uh, the first uh, sign after the, 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 the accords have been signed, that they continue to infiltrate and to prepare another war. The ceasefire has left the communists in control of large areas of South Vietnam, if not in control of the majority of the people. If there are to be elections, are you saying, for example, that Madame Bin, uh, in, from Paris, of the Viet Cong's foreign minister, so-called, is going to be allowed to campaign here in the streets of Saigon if needs be outside the palace? I think that the first, the, uh, I can tell you that the that is in the advantage of the communists to gain time because they do not control uh, enough people to win the election uh, through the vote. And they, they, what they have done since the ceasefire, that they would like to have more hamlets, more village, and more people so they can uh, have a more uh, uh, vote in the, in the uh, future election. So they don't want elections now? And they don't want elections uh, right away. Did you see something that Henry Kissinger said the other day? I imagine you follow everything he says <laughs> very, what, what very closely. He well, he said that, um, uh, yes, there was this agreement, um, but that if one or other of the two political systems was able to provide a morally superior government, 
that was no concern of the United States. Uh, from that, I infer that, that he was voicing what is often heard here, that, that you have great problems of, of corruption to deal with, and this alienates people from your, your government. I think that the, those problems will be solved when we have no more war. I think that the, in a poor country with a very long war, uh, as long as we need uh, aid from the outside, uh, the condition of living in, inside the country is uh, uh, in the poor condition. I think that the that sources, that's the origin of any uh, social problem, even including the corruption. Now I think uh, we are in peace, and uh, I think that those uh, prob social problems will be reduced or will be. Uh, he seemed to be voicing some kind of doubt, though, that you that you were capable of doing that in South Vietnam. <laughs> you, you will see how I wouldn't be able to do that. You have many critics in, in the country, as I'm sure you know. You have many political parties, you have problems with the press, many newspapers have been closed down here who don't totally support the war effort. Who do you believe in South Vietnam is with you when it comes to a choice between a communist and a non-communist state? I think that the South Vietnamese people will choose non-communist. The, the South Vietnamese people, certainly, we, we, we are not a, a perfect man in a perfect regime. But I, I think that the South Vietnamese people have a make mind already that they cannot survive with the communist ideology and with the communist system. And they are confident that uh, when the war is over, the, the, this regime will do better for them.